October 1st and four weeks ago, I went uh, out to Christina Lake and uh, up to Atlantic Lake and thought it was my last wind strip of the season. So it turned out that two weeks later, I planned another trip. Mike and I were gonna head out and then we both had breakthrough cases of COVID and we weren't feeling up to hiking. So here it is another two weeks after that and it's gorgeous out, fall colors, the smoke is cleared and I have 36 hours that I can drive down and hike in somewhere. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I know I'm going to Big Sandy and then after that I'm gonna I'm just gonna kind of wing it and walk where it looks fun. I haven't done a trip like that probably ever. I'm always one of those people that plans everything out so we'll see what happens. We'll see you at the trailhead. It's about 2 30. I'm leaving Big Sandy Trailhead. Beautiful drive up here. The fall colors are absolutely amazing. Lots of reds, which I like to see. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to head up past Dad's and Arms Lakes to see how far I get today. No real set in stone plan yet, but we'll just see what happens. It's almost 4.30. I've been going, uh, I stopped about an hour and 45 in and I'm in Fish Creek Park and just over the hill from uh, Dad's Lake. Uh, if I were to go all the way to Shadow Lake, which had originally been my plan, uh, I, would, I would have at least another six miles-ish, maybe more, and it's uphill a little bit. And uh, with it being 4.30, it's gonna be cutting it pretty close with daylight. And so what I think I'm going to do is uh, do something I hadn't even thought of. I was just looking at the map. I'm going to head up to Donald Lake, which is east of Dad's Lake. Uh, it's up about 10,200 feet. It looks like there's a really wide open area where you get a decent view of the um, backside of the Cirque of the Towers. So looks like a beautiful spot to camp. Looks like there's plenty of water in there. And so I'm just going to go do that. It's another two miles maybe to camp, which will be there at 5.30. And then I can just have a relaxing evening and, you know, maybe hike up on a ridge a little bit in the morning. But, wow, this is amazing being out here without all the smoke. It is just beautiful. So I'll stop rambling, get back on the trail, and we'll probably see you from camp. Yeah, so I forgot about the blowdown. Trail isn't clear. It's uh, about an hour since I left Fish Creek Park. I've done a little over a mile. Uh, I'm above, out into the open now though, so. Yikes, that was bad. It is the worst deadfall I've ever been in. Like you just get trapped and there's no way in or out. I like take the pack off, crawl under branches. Sucky, sucky, sucky. But, the views up here are going to be spectacular tonight. I cannot wait. It's going to be an amazing sunset. All right, camp is set up, and uh, I'm going to sit here and eat my cold soak couscous tacos and <coughs> watch the sunset on the back of the Cirque of the Towers here. Uh, as you can see, pretty dang gorgeous. So, uh, the beer for the night is another Toppling Goliath. I had this a month ago on Christina Lake trip, but it was the King Sioux. This is the Pompeii, uh, India Pale Ale. And this one's brewed with, uh, mosaic hops. And a lot of mango, pineapple... Just it's a it's a fruit bomb, and this beer is amazing. Uh, I've been 
drinking a lot of this lately. So I'll uh, see you after dinner. Well, the sun is setting and uh, just finished hanging the food bag. Uh, not a lot of people up here and I figured it was probably best to um, hang the food this time rather than risk it in the op sack in the tent. It just it seemed to make more more sense. And a lot of the times, like at Christina Lake, there weren't any good trees. And here this one was had a perfect um, branch that I was able to easily throw a rock over. And uh, it works great. Dinner was good. Sunset on the peaks was amazing. Uh, you can tell it's October 1st. The uh, uh, wind, whenever it would pick up a little breeze, oh man, it was, it's biting. I uh, talked to a guy who's been out four nights and he uh, said it got down to 20 the last two. <laughs> I don't think it'll be quite that cold tonight, but I got the warm sleeping bag in the warm tent and I'm going to go get in that now because I'm getting chilled just being outside. So it's, uh, it's beautiful up here. I'm I'm glad I decided to come up this way, even though that bushwhacking sucked. Uh, it is the winds right now, unless you're on a really established, well-used trail. So. And uh, I am snuggled in my warm sleeping bag. It is nice and toasty in here. And uh, reading book six of Harry Potter, which I started on my winter trip, uh, my through hike <coughs> about uh, 10 or 11 weeks ago. So I'm getting, getting close to the end. Uh, I think six is my favorite book. It's just awesome. So uh, I'm gonna go to sleep here soon because I'm pretty tired. I brought a little bit of Lafroy quarter cast because it's just tradition in the winds now. So have a good night. Cheers. And we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's been a good 11 hours in my sleeping bag. <laughs> it gets dark early and sun rises late. Uh, stayed plenty warm. It did not freeze last night. Uh, it's dang cold though. It's probably close to freezing outside just retrieve the food bag i'm gonna pack up camp and then uh, keep going up like half mile and check out donald lake and then probably mosey on back to the car see how interesting it is getting through all the deadfall um i th i might just shoot straight down the creek to dad's lake it's probably gonna save me half an hour of misery so um See if I can get some cool sunrise pictures here as the sun comes up over the mountains. Donald Lake is gorgeous. There's a couple of really nice camp spots just as you get to the western end of the lake. Um, I'm uh, probably going to head out and I thought about going up the other mile to another lake a little bit higher, but <clears throat> I just accidentally uh, smashed my sunglasses taking my coat off. So <laughs> that sucks, but I will, uh, I've got my big floppy hat, so I'll probably head out to the trailhead and and then uh, get on home. So I'm home in time for dinner. And this has been a really fun, fun trip to do, kind of short, but it's, it's always, you know, as I've said before, it's restorative to get out here and just be in the peaceful mountains, especially this time of year when there's no bugs and there's that chill in the air, you know, winter's coming fast. You know, this, this will definitely see snow in the next few weeks and it's just kind of cool to be out here as the summer is wrapping up. So see you from farther down the trail.
So something I forgot to mention in previous videos is up there near Donald Lake there's a lot of really cool wildlife. Saw so probably a dozen deer. Could hear them outside the tent during the night. And uh, um, this morning I was as I was packing up, there were six cow elk and I went running by. It's definitely definitely a cool spot up there. So coming down, I didn't go all the way to Dad's Lake. It ended up not being necessary. I found some game trails about half the way down that jutted off to the south and were able to connect me with the trail when it was still good. You know, there's some workarounds where horses have uh, gone around stuff, but I am about ready to meet up with the main trail and book it on out to the car. Uh, it's a gorgeous morning. No place I'd rather be than in the winds right now. Made it back to the car around 11 and uh, I figured that wasn't bad time, it was just under two and a half hours from where I camped. And uh, yes, I was feeling great, averaging around, I think, 3.4 miles an hour coming out, so I was booking it. That's the end of the summer, I think. Um, I know I have stuff booked every weekend this month, and I know there's going to be snow by the end of October. So, I think that's a wrap on 2021. It's going to be a lot of fun getting all these videos up. And, uh, hopefully you guys all enjoy them. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll uh, see you around for uh, some more hikes and some you know old ones from a decade ago uh, coming up over the winter. So, cheers!